All right, this is called measuring length to the nearest inch, and that's the the whole topic on here. So use the Alex ruler to find the length of the pencil. Write your answer to the nearest inch. So with this one, it's not showing us yet. It'll show us on the next screen. Over here, there will be tools, and you'll see a ruler. You're going to have to click on the ruler, and then you line it up to the, the first dotted line, and you see where it is here. Because it wants it to the nearest inch, we want to either see is it closer to four or is it closer to five. It doesn't want us to give the decimal. So if it's before the middle here, then we're going to go down to four. If it's after the middle mark, then we're going to go up to five. So we're just rounding. Is it closer to four or five inches? That's it. So in this case, it's much closer to four than it is to the five. So four inches. All right, there's not going to be a whole lot to write down on this one. So I think I'm going to put the, the tablet down. All right, so let's see on this one. So it says, again, use the Alex ruler to find the length of the toothpick. Write your answer to the nearest inch. So I'm going to click on this ruler, and then it pops the ruler up. I do need to click to make it stay. So I didn't, when I clicked, I made sure that the zero was lined up. So I didn't come over here with my cursor to the zero. I pulled the ruler over so that zero lined up in the correct spot. And then I'm looking at this. So it's this dotted line is between three and four. So I just need to decide, is it three or four? So this right here, and usually on a ruler, this is actually longer. For it would be a, a mark like that. It would be a little longer to show you that it's the middle. Um, but in this case, so this is the middle right here, right where the cursor is. So as long as it's before that middle mark, you would go down to the, the three or the, the number that's to the left. If it's that middle mark or past it, you would go up to the next whole number. In this case, it would be four. Since it's before it, we go down to three and we click check. And yay. All right, so next. All right, we're going to go with pencil. And again, if I go all the way over here and I click on it, that's going to start at three. I want to line the zero up and then just click the screen and it will drop the ruler right there so it'll stop moving around. You don't have to drop the ruler, but that makes it a little easier if you wanna bring your, your cursor over here to kind of see. So I like to, to line the cursor up to the middle mark here. So here's the middle mark. Um, and you can always count these. Here's one, two, three, four. So there's four bigger marks on this ruler. Hopefully you can see that. You can see it a little better over here because there's nothing in the way. So you can see one, two, three, and then six actually makes the fourth mark. So you can kind of think of it as dividing up into big, four big sections, and then there's another four little sections in here, but we're only looking at the big one. So if I go one, two, because that's dividing four by two, that's the middle. That's how I keep finding the middle. So one, two. So here's the middle. So if it's before the middle mark, we go down to the number before. So this dotted line is in between four and five, right? So the dotted line is definitely after that middle mark, so I'm gonna go all the way up to five. That's the nearest it is, so it's nearest to five. So I click five and check. All right, next, one more. We're measuring a toothpick again. So here I have, it's this dotted line is in between three and four. I'm gonna go one big mark, two big marks, big er marks, they're not really big marks. So I'm looking, if my dotted line is before that, then I'd go down to the three, but it is after that mark, by after I mean to the right of that mark, then I'm gonna go all the way up to four. So I'm gonna round it up to four, even though it's not quite four, it's closer to the four than it is the three. Okay, that's a whole nother one finished. Mm -hmm.